So the farmer has been finding a few dead chickens here and there, and we're thinking maybe mountain lion, foxes, coyotes. We want to know what's causing this, and that's why we're here today to see what we can find. Hello, I'm here at the Mountain Rabbit Farm where the farmer also keeps chickens. He called me up and said, hey Mark, we're finding a lot of dead chickens laying around and uh, can you bring your trail cams to set them up and uh, see if we can catch who and what the culprit is. So I grabbed the Browning trail cams and we're out here on the farm, as you can hear in the background. <laughs> and we're gonna find out who and what the culprit is. We're thinking maybe mountain lion, foxes, bobcats, coyotes. We've been capturing video for a while now. We're using the brown in trail cams and our newest one is the Dark Ops Pro DCL Nano. A big thank you goes out to Andrea from Browning for sending these out to us. Thank you very much, Andrea. We really appreciate that. So this camera has the dual lens and it shoots video in 4K and is the smallest of all the cameras in the line. The battery life on these trail cams is amazing. We have them in the field and on 24 seven and the batteries are still fantastic after days and days of use. So we're very happy with that. And uh, that's why we reach for the Browning trail cams. The other reason is durability. We've had them knocked over. We've had them almost run over. We've had them weed whacked. We've had them run into the posts by the tractors and they still keep going. And just the other day, the farmer moved the camera and the T-pole because he was moving the chicken coops and was pounding the T-pole in with the camera still on it. Any other trail cam would have been destroyed, but the Browning trail cams, they're tough. There are a lot of T-posts around the farms, and so I strongly suggest picking up a couple of T-post camera mounts from Browning. I've tried others, but these are far the best and give us lots of flexibility. And as I've mentioned before in previous videos, the menu on these cameras are so, so very easy to set up and we're really happy with them. We also have the cellular camera here as well to check when we're at home using the Strikeforce wireless app. I've set some of the cameras to take just snapshots also. I'll put a link down below so you guys can go to the Browning website. They have an extensive line of cameras that you guys can choose from. We're getting on the video so many different animals around the fence. And of course, we also caught the culprits on the Browning trail cams. At the request of the farmer, he asked us not to show the culprit uh, on video and uh, we respect his wishes. So, uh, but I can tell you who it was. It was the dogs, the dogs garden, the chickens. Now, this is not totally unheard of. It's happened on another farm of ours. And uh, so we kind of suspected, but uh, we were hoping it wasn't the case. But the dogs in this, on this farm are going under rehabilitation and uh, hopefully they'll be back on the farm again real soon. Thanks to the Browning trail cams, we were able to figure out and suss out who, what it was. And so that's a big, huge plus for us and the farmer in this case. Uh, we were able to get a pretty speedy result. So he's very happy with that. Not the dogs, but happy with the fact that we figured out what it was early. Please like and subscribe. Really appreciate you guys watching. Cheers.